The weather seems to have turned a little here at Stowe Hill, but that doesn't seem to take the shine off of Jacob. She's a 53 foot, one inch traditional stern narrowboat built in 1997 by Reeves and fitted out by King's Ground Narrowboats. Did an excellent job. She's fitted out in oak faced ply with oak trim throughout the boat and which we'll get a better look at as we go through. She was last blacked in July 2022, which had three coats to the sides and two coats to the base plate. So that's uh, above and beyond what you would usually expect. Um, and there was eight new anodes fitting at the last blacking. At the same time, they also had the engine service. There are some spare parts on board for that as well um, to do the next service. And also she was surveyed. So there is a copy of the July 2022 survey available for viewing in the office. Scratch covered well deck. There is also a tannel cover for the back um, keeps out the wind and the, the rain when you don't need to be cruising around. Two 13 kilogram propane gas bottles in that bow locker. And you've got seats either side. Various bits and pieces in here. Decent amount of storage. Glazed forward doors, glazed cratch board as well and then into the saloon. Saloon is 12 feet long. There's a laminate floor in here. Shelves along this side with a radiator underneath. It's a 11 inch 12 volt TV there. It's intercom throughout the boat as well. So you can, uh, when you're cruising, you can call somebody from the back and tell them to put the kettle on for you. Little radio in the, that cupboard. Storage in the forward step. This is a villager multi-fuel stove. A little armchair, gate leg table and the fixed bench at the end. There is storage inside that. And then there's a screen for the side hatch, which you'll see in a minute. So another look down the saloon. Head height on board is six foot five. The lighting is all LED. Here's the starboard side hatch. There's roof access there as well. A little bread bin on the, on the countertop. 12 volt shoreline fridge with an ice box stainless steel sink that window fully opens which is a nice little feature large amount of storage space underneath the sink for big things and little things Thetford oven and grill that was brand new in 2021 and then the four burner gas hob for net four burner gas hob covered above the hob and a couple of little shelves tail rail there and then on this side, underneath the side hatch, you've got another cupboard and a couple of little drawers. It's tiled in here. Another look back down the galley and the saloon. Nice airy feel, nice and light. Another intercom. That's great. You could, uh, you really can have fun with those. And into the bedroom. Bedroom's eight foot six. That fixed double berth is six foot three by four feet. It's reading lights underneath that cupboard there. There's also a drawer underneath the bed and plenty of other storage by lifting up the mattress. And at the far end is a set of three little drawers and a mirror. There's electric points there so you could easily have another TV if you wanted to in here. The wardrobe you might ask is in between the bathroom and the bedroom. Clever use of that space. Full height wardrobe with a little shelf at the bottom. And then you've got the off corridor bathroom. The bathroom is five foot eight. There's a Thetford loo with three cassettes, ceramic basin, a couple of little shelves above there. Storage in here. One of the cassettes is in there, another radiator, and then the square shower tray with a tiled surround and a shower curtain. Then you've got the rear cabin. So there's a single bunk in here, which takes up your leg space, basically goes into the engine room. It's a shelf over that. That's a master volt, two kilowatt inverter. There is also a Waco battery charger on board as well some cupboards. In there you've got a spin dryer and plenty more storage space. As I said there's some spare parts for servicing the engine and then into the engine room. So the rear cabin was four feet and the engine room is also four feet. 
all the various electronics in there and then have a look down the helms that's a seat that sits on there actually and then having a look in the engine bay so it's a beta 43 bv1903 um, there is also a Wabasto diesel fired central heating system in there that's connected to the four radiators throughout the boat all of the radiators were new in 2021 the hot water is supplied by the Wabasto and the engine 12 volt power is supplied by four 105 amp hour domestics which were new in April 2022 and there is a separate starter as I've said, they're topped up by the, the Waco battery charger. There is also an Adverk battery management system, landline hookup and galvanic isolator. So you're covered from all power perspectives. The lighting on board is LED, which I think I've already mentioned. And there we have it. So that's Jacob. For a fully downloadable colour brochure, the price and spec, go to our website at www.rugbyboats.co.uk.